And good evening. Once again, I am Gil Carter, WREG Radio Family, Memphis. We are here live at the Stax Museum and Academy of Music, and I'm here with Mr. Julius Lewis. Hey, Gil, how you doing, bro? Doing wonderful, doing no, wonderful. All right, bro. Just interviewed a living legend. Yeah, I'm still uh, Getting ready to rip the stage. He's still doing it, you all. Uh, Mr. Jay Blackfoot. But now I'm here with Mr. Lewis, and we're going to talk about his great involvement with Insecure the Movie. Of course, many of you all know that Insecure premiered here a few months back, and it was a wonderful premiere, uh, star-studded event. But, of course, with WREGradio.com, we are more than behind the scenes. Uh, so we want to talk to Mr. Lewis about his involvement as he, as he is the writer, producer, and the financier yeah. of Insecure. Well, a lot of hats on Insecure. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Mr. Lewis, talk to us in detail about your involvement uh, with that major motion picture. Uh, well, the project I've been wanting to do since 1995. It started off as a stage play, okay. a touring stage play, but we never to get, never could get it out there uh, at the time. But then all of a sudden, you know, I kind of slowly but surely started reading this guy, that guy, yeah. this person, you know, that woman, whatever. And, uh, you know, the script got passed around in Hollywood, and uh, it's actually going to be a pretty good movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, you know, we, uh, you know, the most important thing you have to do, you know, once you get the script together, uh, all this part, you know, everybody knows, you know, a lot of folks out there that's in the uh, entertainment industry, we know the hardest thing is going out there getting your own money. Exactly. You to to uh, accomplish your dreams. Yeah. Exactly. You know, but through a few few uh, loans, and I've been saved enough for the last five years to get the project off the ground. So okay. I was able to progress yourself on together. Okay. There are two P's in the entertainment industry. I've learned these firsthand, or I've learned that you have to have two P's in the entertainment industry firsthand. That's persistence and proactive. Yes. Yeah, you have to be proactive and you persistent. Have, you yes. have to think ahead. I mean, you can't, it's 2011 now, you need to be thinking about what you're going to be doing in 2016. That's right. You know, That's right. Just kind of, you know, make your uh, daily steps, you know, involved in it. That's right. Be, you know, successful in this business. Yes. And, uh, yes. But now, you are the producer of Insecure. Sure. Uh, now, I am led to believe that you are a native Memphian yes, because yes. of all well, the about, landmarks. About, I grew up about, uh, a half a minute away from Stax right now, at, 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 uh, at, at Saxon, the college in Stax, yeah. Saxon, like that. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, you know and, and being here tonight, you know, uh, getting a chance to see, you know, what they have done with this building. Yes. Know, just, just great. Yes. This entire area. Yeah, yeah, you know, it's, you know, it's, been, it's been great. Yes, yeah. this is definitely part of the South yeah. Memphis Renaissance, if you will. Um, I have to ask you about the other major uh, motion picture movie premiere. That was here in our great city, of course, Hustle and Flow. Sure. That was another star studded premiere, sure. and it allowed Memphis to have incredible visibility in terms of Memphis having a film culture on par with Los Angeles, New York, uh, other cities in which the film industry uh, is large. Tell us how Memphis can continue to evolve its film industry and be more relevant and have producers. Uh, writers, uh, directors, and of course, uh, A-list and marquee name actors come here to do productions. I mean, this is just great. This is a great town. I mean, it is. we cannot get the look. You cannot duplicate Memphis. Right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you cannot do. You can't. You can't feel the culture. And also, you know, what, what's going on right now? Forty. Only forty percent of the movies right now being filmed in Hollywood and New York. Mm -hmm. Most of them have been shot, you know, in Louisiana, right. Tennessee, North Carolina, Georgia, because of tax, tax incentive, you know. Right. We got an aggressive tax incentive plan here in the state mm -hmm. uh, for a smaller budget, you know, anything under $5 million. Mm -hmm. But once you get up to $5 million, you know, you know our uh, tax incentive budgets, you know, cannot match, you know, other states. You know, right. So, you know, we just need to be consistent. I mean, we got some, so many talented folks in this town. That's right. Just, 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 just do not have, just have not gotten the opportunity to. Uh, Mr. Lewis, tell them again. <laughs> we, we have, have a lot more of talent than enough more, talented we people. We have in a lot city. of talented people. That's right. In this town, I mean, I mean, I look at some of the uh, 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 the singers, the dancers, the actors, actors. Uh, you know, some some of the scripts I've read out of this town, man, the songwriters and everything. I mean, we just got so much flush of talent up here. We just got to keep figuring out a way to. Uh, uh, bring it all together. I mean, mm -hmm. Atlanta, you know, is the way it is because, you know, they had aggressive uh, uh, government to be mm -hmm. trying
try to make things happen out there. Right. You know? So, right. but I, I think right now, you know, we, we're on the right track right now. Okay. How can the Tennessee state government, and I would imagine that this is at the legislative level, sure. but you mentioned tax incentives. Sure. Because, I just put a movie side on it. Right. Because I'm thinking television, you know, Memphis Beat was filmed here. No, it wasn't filmed here. Well, filmed in New Orleans, I'm yes, sorry. Four, yes. It was filmed in New Orleans. Yes. But many people wondered, okay, Memphis Beat, sure. why not Memphis? So that goes back to the tax incentives. Yeah, it's more of a tax incentive. So know. on a legislative level, and again, I well, would assume well, that it's, it's on a legislative level. You know, the only way we're going to be, you know, honestly, to be able to compete with Louisiana, mm -hmm. uh, we'll have to have an uh, employee tax. Okay. Yeah, you know, you have to have employee tax. Because what, what basically is, you know, whatever the actors get, they basically just paying a sales tax. Right. I mean, sales employee tax. Right. And, and uh, the state of Tennessee, you know, you know, all, you know, you talk to your friends up in Mississippi and Georgia, all of them, they were surprised in the state of Tennessee that we don't play, pay a sale, I mean, uh, employee, employee tax. tax. Yeah, employee tax. Mm -hmm. So for us to really, really be able to compete on that, we have to have that. So uh, for uh, so, so you got to ask yourself, this person that's working at, let's say, Federal Express is what, mm -hmm. is it fair for them to play an employee tax? Mm -hmm. Versus somebody that's, that's that's just coming in for uh, the work here, so you know it, 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 it's going to be tough on that. Right. So to educate our hearers and listeners, would that change have to be made in Nashville on the oh, yeah, legislative definitely. level? Oh, definitely, definitely. So it is on the legislative level. Yeah, yeah. It'll I have just to, want people to be clear to, on that. Okay. Yeah, it'll have to be made. In the, you know, but but I, I don't think it's going. What happened was, I mean, the state of Tennessee was smart. You know, one thing. One thing I do like about, about our, our, our state and senators in this town, right, in this state. You have to, it, it, it makes you hire more Tennesseans to work mm. for your project. That's a good point. I mean, it makes you hire more Tennesseans. You know, it's the only way you're going to be able to get the max of which uh, tax breaks. You know, you got to hire people, you got to use restaurants, you got to do things inside of, inside of uh, uh, the state of Tennessee. But uh, what's happened in, you know, Louisiana and Georgia, yes, they come in there and they get the tax break. But it's not really helping the bottom line people. That's right. That that's 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 uh you know I mean because all they they, they not hiring the local people. That's right. That's so. Uh, and as much as I love New Orleans, Memphis Beach should have been filmed right here yeah, in yeah, Memphis. Yeah, yeah. But we won't split hairs about that. Yeah, well, you know it's I am done. upset about it. You know. So, <laughs> so thing, but you know, I know right. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be looking more and more uh, about this, this this radio station. Radio Internet Radio Show. Okay. You have, you know. WRUG Radio. Yeah, WRUG. Com. That's us. Well, we would radio. love to have you into the station if you're in town. Right? Yeah, I'm in town. That's where I live at. Okay, so you're <laughs> so, you know, And also, you know, the Insecure will be out on DVD and Blu ray June the 14th. We just signed a major deal with uh, 20th Century Fox. You know. Outstanding. Yeah. Outstanding. Yeah, last year, 2010, it was the number one uh, independent movie, you know, of the year. So, right around three million dollars close. Outstanding. So, Great, great. That's great to hear. Well, Mr. Lewis, uh, let me ask you this. Uh, the WREG Radio family has combed our great city today from East High School to the Cannon Center and Cook Convention Center and now at this wonderful crown jewel of the South Memphis community. And at the end of the day, it's all about our youth. Sure. So please talk to our youth for a moment. Uh, in particular, the events that were held at East High School today, the Hilda Hood Foundation of sure. Memphis, their third annual Living the Dream Telethon 2011, yeah. to this great uh, concert being put on here tonight. And speak to our young people. What has allowed you to be successful, and what wisdom and knowledge would you impart on our young people in order to get to where you are and to become the type of man that you are right now? Well, uh, persistence. You know, don't tell, don't let me, don't let nobody tell you you can't do it. Right. Before you need and always plan ahead. Right. You know, you know, if you can, you know, uh, you know, like I said, I grew up in this neighborhood, and you got to have some knowledge in business. Gotcha. I mean, I don't care if you're gonna be a writer, find out what's published. Mm -hmm. gotcha. You know, if you're gonna be a singer, you know, uh, find out why should I have a hundred people out on the road for? And all of a sudden, you know, all this stuff is coming out of your pocket right there. Right. You know, so you know, I always learn the business of that space. Then you can have a you know look a better way, but I'll always be persistent and I'll always be playing ahead. You know, that's, that's the biggest thing that I, I'll give. And you know, don't tell nobody you can't do it. I mean, you know, a lot of young kids out there, 16, 17 years old. I mean, you know, give it a shot. That's right. Whatever you know, what you want to do, just give it a shot. If it don't don't pan out, you know, okay, you know, you know, okay, you know, I, I can always try to do something else. You know. There you go. You know I mean? But you know, you don't want to be. 40, 50 years old, I said, man, if I would just, you know, went ahead and gave it a shot, you know, you know, 
I have I had a friend of mine I tried to get you know involved with me in my business on the, on the emphasis mm -hmm. of our business and uh, is he know, kicking himself now? Yeah, he's, <laughs> you know, he's pretty much you know, right. You know, so he's pretty much but you know right. But you still love him. Yeah, we still feel cool. <laughs> yeah, you know, but you know. Right. But it came along with me, you know. We know when you know some of the struggles might not have been as tough as it was for me. But there you, you know, go. I'm glad I went through the struggles to, to be able to appreciate what I got now. There you go. All right. Very humble and positive All brother, right. Mr. Right. Julius Lewis. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it here first. WRUGRadio.com. I am Gil Carter, the host of the Carter Experience with Gil Carter Internet Radio Talk Show. Heard and seen live exclusively on www.wrugradio.org. And Mr. Lewis. Tell everyone who's seeing you and listening to you, the only internet radio station on the planet that supports independent unsigned artists. Out there, W R U G Radio. That's it. That's it. Okay.